And so we know this uh, 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 from a, a huge body of research that I summarize in, partially in this book, but more in The Science of Good and Evil. Um, and so, but then we have the next step, the harder problem. What about complete total strangers in different groups? Why not just you know, turn and run or kill them? And um, sometimes this is called the problem of tipping um, in evolutionary uh, ethics studies. And the problem of tipping goes like this. So let's say uh, we go out to dinner uh, after this or something, and, and, uh, and, and, and it comes time to pay the bill, and I'm going to leave a tip. Now, uh, why, why should I tip the wait person? Uh, I mean, why, I should just keep the money. I could uh, put it in my kid's college account or something. That, that would be better for my genes. Why would I give it to somebody else? And, uh, uh, well, maybe it's uh, one of my regular haunts, and, you know, I'm going to go back there again, and I want to get good service. So it's a reciprocal. It's a reciprocal altruistic thing. That wait person may remember me. So, uh, so I better give a tip. But, um, but wait, wait, what if I'm in a foreign city and, and I'm not likely to go to that restaurant again? Well, maybe I'm here with, with the National Capital Area Skeptics and I don't want them to think I'm a cheapskate, you know. So I leave a tip to send a signal to my fellow in-group members, uh, fellow skeptics, that, hey, I'm a good, you can count on me. I'm one of, I'm one of you. Look, I, I'm a generous person. But what if I'm, what if I go out tonight uh, by myself in a restaurant I'll probably never go to again? And even if I did, the chance of my getting the same person or zip. I mean, I... Why would I leave any money at all? I mean, I could save that 3%. I don't have to leave the tip. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> well, my answer to the question is because um, we are truly, deeply, innately moral in that it isn't enough to fake uh, being a moral person uh, and, and, and cheat uh, every, every once in a while. That is, in our Paleolithic environment, where everybody was either related to one another or knows one another, uh, your reputation uh, uh, goes uh, precedes you, and and people know that. So if you do enough of those sorts of things in that environment, you'll get caught, and therefore you you can't fake it. Uh, people know when other people are not consistently lying, but but you te you can sort of tell in a cumulative fashion who sort of is a reliable good person, who isn't. We can as fuzzy boundary categories, we can, can sort our friends and, and and enemies that way fairly fairly well. And so what I'm claiming is that over the long eons, it wasn't enough to sort of rationally calculate the, the Machiavellian manipulation of other people by pretending to be moral, but you actually had to do it, believe it, live it, and become moral. So that's my answer to theists. Why, why would you be good without God? And well, one answer is, uh, you mean if there were no God, what would you do or who would you do? I mean, what? Uh, and thank you for the warning uh, that you wouldn't be moral without God, because I sometimes get that answer. In case you change your mind, don't call me. You've been listening to the Balticon Podcast. We're your source for the best interviews, author recordings, and panel discussions. We bring you information from the minds that make science fiction happen. Authors, stars, techies, and scientists. If you want more information on anything you heard in this podcast, you can find it in the show notes on our website, www.balticonpodcast.org. You can also leave us feedback for the show. Check out the contact page on the site for more details. Balticon is a fan-based convention run by the dedicated volunteers at BISFIS, the Baltimore Science Fiction Society. Find out more about BISFIS at www.bsfs.org. Balticon 42 will be held Memorial Day weekend at the Hunt Valley Marriott in Cockeysville, Maryland. Our guest of honor will be author Connie Willis. Find out more about Balticon at www.balticon.org. The Balticon podcast is released under Creative Commons Non-Commercial Attribution 3.0 United States License. Share it and let people know where you got it. But if you try to make money from it, you may get a visit from some unsavory characters. Don't make me destroy you. The Balticon podcast is produced by Dancing Cat Studios, through the hard work of Paul Fisher and Martha Holloway. We could not function without the hard work of our Balticon 41 staff, Command Line, Grail Wolf, and Heather Welliver. You can find out more about Dancing Cat Studios at www.dancingcatstudios.com. Our theme music is Space Monkey by Jim Hodgson and comes to us through the Podsafe Music Network at music.podshow.com. You can find everything Jim Hodgson at www.jimhodgson.com, spelled J-I-M-H-O-D-G-S-O-N. 
Thank you for listening.